Did you get a mailer from AmeriCorps or see an ad stating that you have been pre-approved for consolidation that will drastically reduce your monthly payment? Maybe you saw a little debit card. You may be wondering, how can I get this such a good rate? So the question is, is AmeriCorps legitimate? And what does it do for you? How does it work? We're gonna answer all of that and more, so let's get started. Welcome to the Ascend Finance YouTube channel where we cover complex topics such as debt consolidation and debt settlement with companies such as AmeriCorps to help you understand the cost pros and cons to help you make the most informed decision. My name is Ben and I was the previous CEO of a debt settlement company. So I've settled a lot of debt in my life. I understand how debt works. So I have a pretty good understanding of what AmeriCorps does. So without further ado, let's cover what we're gonna cover in this video. First, we're gonna talk about what is AmeriCorps. Second, we're gonna say, are they legitimate? Third, the cost. What do they cost? Super important to understand the cost. We're gonna talk about how AmeriCorps works. And finally, we'll ask this question, should you sign up for AmeriCorps? So AmeriCorps is a large player in the debt relief space. Now, you may have come through them through Credit Nine, through some sort of debt consolidation experience. And so AmeriCorps offers assistance often with debt settlement, also known as debt consolidation programs. So the biggest thing that you may wanna be aware of is that debt consolidation programs programs are not the same as debt consolidation loans. In a debt consolidation loan, your credit score may go up after good payments. In a debt consolidation program, your score may be go down because the accounts go behind before they consolidate and settle all that all, all the debt. So it's super important baseline to understand what you're signing up for. So you may be signing up for a debt consolidation program, and it's just important to understand the difference between debt consolidation programs and debt consolidation loans. And AmeriCorps is probably doing a debt consolidation program, also known as debt settlement and in debt settlement your accounts fall behind and the debt settlement companies would negotiate and try to settle for less than what is owed. So you can think of it like this. You have a $10,000 debt and the debt settlement company tries to negotiate that down to 5,000. Then they charge a fee, let's say $2,500. Now we'll talk a lot about fees later and fees are one of the most important things. So just bear with me as we get to that. But there's three main cons that I want you to consider before you set sign the dotted line. And we'll cover that in a little bit after we cover how AmeriCorps works. So is AmeriCorps legitimate? I believe AmeriCorps is a legitimate company. They are BBB accredited with a 4.64 out of five stars with over a thousand reviews. Now, according to BBB, they've been around for 14 years and they're headquartered in California. Now, while the company maintains an A plus rating, it's also too important to understand the complaints. Now, they have 139 complaints in the last three years and 46 of those are in the last 12 months. So you may wanna consider looking at those complaints, looking at other reviews. I like to review companies for negative reviews first to really understand whether people are having consistent bad experiences with that company. So how much does AmeriCorps cost? Now, often um, debt relief companies will tell you that the fees included in their plan payment that they've already mentioned, and the plan payment's already a lot less than maybe Maybe what you're paying, but it's really important to know that the difference is are often huge. So America could say, we're gonna charge you 25% of your enrolled debt. And many companies charge between 15 and 25%. And that amount can be monumental. So if you, let's say you have $100,000 in debt, a 25% fee versus a 15% fee is $10,000 in fees additionally. So because it's so important, we actually built a debt settlement cost calculator that I included in the link description below. And it really helped you estimate the cost of debt settlement and the duration. And we we wanted it to be very comprehensive, hopefully not too comprehensive, but allow you to compare it to other options like nonprofit credit counseling or debt payoff planning or bankruptcy. Maybe you don't want to do bankruptcy, but at least you can compare your different options holistically in an unbiased way based on your data to get to and understand what is best for you. And it's 100% free. It's personalized to your data and it doesn't even require an email address. We know that debt is extremely stressful. So we wanted to produce a unbiased resource that you can use that can help you make the most informed decision about your debt. And you know, if you do want help, we are there. We have, we do complimentary evaluations and you get complimentary evaluations with different parties. But we just wanted this resource to be something that can help you understand your options. So let's talk about how AmeriCorps works. So when you sign up, sign the dotted line of a client services agreement, you'll probably sign up for the special purpose escrow account, and then funds will be taken. You may stop, stop paying your creditors. So let, let's say, for example, you have an Amex that is owed 10000 You may stop paying the $200 and start putting $100 to the escrow account. So the difference between $200 and $100 is that savings that give you a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room every month, right? So let's say you put $100 to the escrow account for that 
account, that those funds accrue. And once it gets in a position where it's able to negotiate, they may negotiate a structured settlement 12 to 24 months. Generally, if you're making smaller payments, they won't do a one-time lump sum payment. They'll do a structured settlement and then you'll start making payments. And let's say, you know, you have 10 other accounts. They would just go through those one by one until you get out of the program and in that 36 to 60 month time frame. So I wanted to talk to you about three cons about debt settlement in particular that I think everyone should know about. Now, I think that debt settlement can save you money and it can be a great option, but in the context of these three cons, now there are other cons that I will add a link in the description, the debt settlement pros and cons, but I think it's important to understand these three in particular. One is debt collection lawsuits. When accounts go behind, the creditor may sue you. Now, a debt settlement company can still negotiate and settle the accounts often, but it might be at a higher rate than they, what they previously did. And getting a debt collection lawsuit, not so fun. So just important to know, a debt settlement company, a, a reputable one, may tell you which companies are likely to sue. We also built a lawsuit likelihood calculator that I'll put a link in the description below so that you can kind of estimate that. Next, credit report and credit score impact. Companies, banks, creditors are more likely to settle when the accounts are go behind, right? So in order to settle, their accounts may go behind, your credit score gets hurt, right? Your credit, and, and that might not be as big if you're already behind, but if you are current on all your accounts, that's why we built that debt settlement cost calculator because you can compare that cost to debt management where your accounts may not go behind. So you can compare your options holistically, but credit report and credit score impact are something that you need to consider before, or you may want to consider before signing it with debt settlement. The final thing is tax implications on settled debt. Now, if you have a $10,000 debt, you settle it for $5,000, that $5,000 of forgiven debt, you may get a 1099C, which is a cancellation of debt, which may be affect your taxes, okay? Some people may not have to do that because of this thing called tax insolvency versus tax solvency. So it's important before you sign up to understand, maybe estimate whether you're tax solvent or not. Now, there's an IRS publication that's a little bit long. So what we did is we built another calculator, the tax solvency calculator that estimates whether you're tax solvent. I included a link in the description below with a blog post that can tell you about that. Now, that's a lot. I appreciate that you guys stay with me. So last question is, should you sign up for AmeriCorps? Totally do your decision. But I would say, you know, look at the reviews. You know, you can look at Glassdoor. You can look at a Trustpilot. You can look at Google. You can look at Yelp. See which ones make the most sense for you. I would say our debt settlement cost calculator can do a great job helping you estimate the cost of debt settlement and also comparing it to other quotes that you may have received to see you know, how much am I paying compared to other, you know, debt settlement costs, right? And finally, we're here. Please comment in the description below. If you have any questions, give us a call, text 833-272-3631, and we'd love to speak with you. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.